Our first step is to set levels, grids, and reference planes to define our dimensional framework. Let's use the offset tool to create new levels by copying an existing one when it has already been placed. I'm going to use the Pick Lines tool and hover over the existing level to choose which side to place the new copy. Now, I will rename a few of the levels to something more meaningful like roof and lower levels, and these new names will appear on the views in the project browser. It's helpful to pin down your levels so that they don't accidentally get moved in the course of modeling. Next, we'll use grids to create a similar framework to divide the horizontal plane in the XY direction. In a floor plan view, choose the grid tool and place a line, naming it A. This will set up a naming scheme where the next will be, will be B, C, and D. For now, a 20-foot offset is what makes sense for our design. Now we can place some horizontal lines and set the name of this first one to 1 so that the subsequent grids use numbers as their naming scheme. Again, I'll use the Pick Lines tool and define an offset of 20 feet to create these multiple grid lines. It's often useful to also define reference planes in addition to grids to assist with the placing and aligning of objects relative to the grids. Choose the Reference Plane tool and use the Pick Lines option with an offset of 9 inches. I'll place these reference planes on both sides of grid A and grid D. With all these placed, I will pin them down in the same way I did my levels. Having set up this system of grids and reference planes, we can now use them to precisely place the columns in the building. I'll navigate to the lower level and choose the Structural Column tool, adjusting the settings in the Options bar to set the placement direction and the end constraint. Then we can place columns in the plan view that run from lower level to level 1. I can place them individually, like so, Or I can use the, a shortcut to place many columns at once at the intersections of grids. To do this, choose the Act Grids option, then select the desired grids using the Control key to add more grids to your selection. When we click Finish, columns appear at the intersections of the grids we selected. Now, zooming in to one of the exterior columns, we can see that the reference planes that we had placed earlier are lining up with the interior face of the columns and the exterior face, which is also the outer edge of the floor slab.